In this video, I'm going to run you through a quick, basic outline of the timeline. So to add any media to your timeline, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas and you'll see that it gets added directly onto your timeline. Um, so we can then go through and you know zoom in and out of the timeline. Basically, wherever your time indicator is, is where the zoom will start going into. So you can see it zooms straight into where your time indicator is. So if you position that to the start, it will zoom in from there like that, okay? Um, also, over here, this is our layer. We can go through and rename this layer. So let's just call this one logo, for example. I can hide the element from the canvas. I can then go ahead and show that. I can also lock the element so that now, like, I can't select it. And this is great when you've got a whole bunch of elements on your canvas and you just want to work with um, certain ones without having them moved if, you've, if you already add your um, element in, in place. Um, you can also hide your element from the timeline, and this is really helpful. Um, let's say, for example, you've got a whole bunch of layers. I'm just going to add a whole bunch of layers on here. Um, so let's say you've got all these elements here, and you've made your scene, and, and you're happy with them, but you don't want to edit them anymore. So what you could do is you could either lock them all and then hide them, or you could just simply um, click on the, this icon here, like this, and select the layers that you want to hide from the timeline, and click on this icon here and you can see now that it's hidden these layers from the timeline but it's still visible on the actual video and this is just to help you to keep your timeline more neat and compact and organized okay so if you want to see those layers again you simply click on that icon and if you want to unhide them from your timeline just deselect those ones and you have to see you've got them back here again okay so those are the main features in terms of uh, operating the timeline you can also drag your media so if you've got images you uh, you can go ahead and drag them, you know, as long as you like, um, you know, resizing them basically like this. You can simply click on it and move it as well into the right order that you want it to appear on. Um, and for your layers, you basically have an extra layer down here. If you drop it down, you can add animations, okay? So you can add custom animations or motion presets that you can add, for example, slide right like this. Um, and you can adjust the duration of your animation by simply clicking and dragging like that. So if I delete this one, right click delete, I can go through and add a different animation, let's say um, scale. And I could then go through and make it smaller. You best see it animates like that. So I'll have, there's another video where, where we go through more advanced animations and really go into animations, but this is just a quick um, demo of that. Okay. Um, also, if you've got all, all these tracks open, I'll just unhide these ones. So often like when you're animating elements, you can see like we've got different um, different tracks open and it's quite quite big, okay? So what you can do is collapse all these tracks by clicking on this icon here, just collapse everything. And especially when you're trying to reorganize or rearrange things on the timeline, it's easier to drag and drop elements like this when the layers are collapsed. If they're all open like this, it gets a, it's a little bit more difficult to you know position things so if you want to move things up and down just simply collapse it and then drag it like so okay uh, and yeah that's about it in terms of the timeline um, if you want to see more advanced options and animating then go on to the next video and we'll go through animations on timeline mm -hmm.